hi guys uh this is part two of how to update your your asset miner god shell miner firmware mm, and in this part i'll be covering i'll be showing you how you you can update your firmware if you are unable to access your your mining machine through the ip address right as you can see i'm on the official website of gold shell so what you need to do is go to support right uh, click on find miner on website tools as you can see these are all my miners uh, let me change this to english and let me refresh mm. okay so these are the three miners these are my three miners which i'm unable to get access to you to their interface using the ip address as you can see it just keeps on loading like this forever and then it eventually says a network or whatever no internet connection as you can see this site is not rich right but when i click the other one let's see let's click this one you can see i have access to the machine so what i'm gonna do now is go i'm going to show you guys how i'm going to try and update this machine right uh, manually so as uh, i've said before you need to go through Let's go to the code shell website. Let's go to support. But this time we are going to go to tutorials, view more. All right, then you scroll down. Then you say upgrade firmware. All right, you scroll right at the end. And then you click on this link, which will send you to github then you download let's see this is the kd pro yeah it's the kd pro kd box pro which i'm unable to uh, to update so let's go to kd pro yeah here is the software right the firmware is uh, 2.25 you click download on it and it's gonna download so i've already downloaded it so i'm not gonna click download again as you can see here it is uh, firmware right once you've downloaded it you need to to burn it onto a micro sd right so i recently went to the shops because i didn't have a micro sd and bought one and if i take you to the email which gold shell uh, support sent me there are these two softwares it's ibsmk and uh and uh, rufus uh, 3.20 which you can use to to burn your software on 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 the on the micro sd card right so now i'm going to insert my micro sd card into the laptop right as you can see it just popped up right uh, let me just show you okay let me just format it first because i had already downloaded uh i had i had already done burnt 
another software on it okay let's go to my computer so just that you see here is my micro sd right as you can see it's empty it has nothing inside and then uh, i've downloaded the uh, when you go to download you can see the ibsmk software which i which i've unzipped and installed right uh, after i've installed it uh, it's on my desktop now i click i open it then you'll see this right and then you can go on select right and then i'm looking for the kd box pro firmware here it is then i double click as you can see it has loaded then i'm going to burn it right this is gonna take a little while as you can see 100 it's done it's finished burning on the sd now let me just show you how it looks after it has been burned you see now there's no more space it's it's full and it's burned so now i'm gonna remove it from my laptop right i've removed the micro sd as you can see it's no longer showing and then i'm going to and then i'm going to go and insert it into the machine to 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 flash the, the old software out and automatically when i turn it on this new software which i've in i've burned on my micro sd is going to install into the machine okay so now i'm going to change cameras i'm going to use my camera my hand camera uh, i'll be back in a minute okay guys as you can see i'm taking out my sd card uh, let me take it out from here from the extender here it is now we are going to go and try and reboot the machine somewhere okay uh, which machine okay it's this one as you can see it's not working because of the firmware so i unplugged the internet cable uh, let me switch the power supply off as you can see now it's off and let's uh, Let's insert the micro SD uh, right here. Okay. Here it is. It's in. You have the click. Hopefully, this is going to work. Let's switch it on the power supply. It's on. The fan is running. Doesn't seem like anything is happening. Still nothing. Still nothing. We're going to like two minutes now since I've switched it on, still nothing. The blue and the red line, sh the blue and the red light should be flashing, showing that uh, the firmware is installing, but it, it doesn't seem to be to be doing that. 
Alright. Alright, guess then it's either my firmware is broken. I mean it's either my my minor hash hash board is broken or it has bent out. That's why it's not updating and that's why it hasn't been mining. Okay guys. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to show you this on my computer on my laptop how it was supposed to happen okay fine let me check out the SD card since this is not working I'll just have a look at it later and try to take a look at it I just have to I just have to take take the the miner apart I will just have to take it apart and just try to have a look inside it and try and see if I can fix it now le let me show you on my laptop on my desktop uh, how how we, what it was supposed to happen okay guys uh, I'm back to on the laptop now as you as you saw that didn't work out the way i hoped it would but i'm still gonna show you guys how it was supposed to to have happened right okay after i i had burned the the, the firmware on my micro sd card and this and I've, I went outside right just to to put it in and nothing happened as you saw so I'm just gonna show you what was supposed to happen as you can see on the video here which I'm sharing with you now right let me start this in the beginning right the same process that's that's the micro SD card right um, and then you insert it there just as i did outside and then you turn on the machine right as you can see this was supposed to happen the two uh, red and blue light is flashing that means it's the, the the software is busy installing right as you can see now only the blue light is flashing which means it's complete and then you can plug in the network cable all right and you're done and that's it and after that the the machine will carry on and start mining and your firmware would be updated okay that's how you do it guys and i guess i still have to look into that machine and just try to figure out what what's wrong with it uh, i hope this video is is was helpful and if you were experiencing the same problem you you were able to you were able to fix yours and it, it worked if you like this machine uh, if you like this these videos please don't do not hesitate to to hit the like button and subscribe to 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 the youtube channels uh, to the youtube channel i'll also be sharing with you guys other videos and 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 lot of good videos and content 
that's it guys thank you for watching i'm out of here